Hello everyone, K with Zuno. I've had uh, several people request or ask me about daily pivots, weekly pivots, uh, monthly pivots, etc. Many of the, several of them are different requests. So combined, I'm gonna show two different indicators that will be included as one, but they're that will hopefully meet everybody's needs. Uh, first we have, uh, let's look at this chart on the right, which is basically the white lines are your daily pivots and the slightly darker white, darker white line or gray line is the midpoints of the daily pivot. The yellow line is the weekly pivots. Uh, this also plots simply the, the P low is the prior days low PC is the prior day's close and prior day's high, which if I zoom in here will be shown. And then the same thing for the weekly low, weekly high will also be plotted, but it'll be plotted in the yellow lines. Um, the thickness of these lines or the style of these lines can be controlled by the user, so they're available through the user input. Um, <clears throat> now, several several people have different needs, and uh, different traders have different needs. So this is why I'm offering uh, two different indicators, so you can uh, both you can adjust them to your needs or use them as you have the need for them. Uh, let's assume that some uh, one person told me that they just want the daily pivot. So what you would do is just put falls for the weekly pivots and it will remove those. Another person said they didn't want to have the midpoints. Uh, they just want the daily pivots. Okay, so you would just put show mid pivots false. Now if, and that would remove and then you would just see the daily pivots. On the other hand, if you want to see the daily pivots and the weekly pivots, you will have to also look at the the midpoints as well. Okay, uh, you will have to have the midpoints uh, turned to true. Okay, it's very hard to produce something that everybody you know it meets everybody's needs. So, but uh, this one you can change it to just the daily pivots, or you can change the daily pivots and the midpoints. Or you, or the other option is to have a daily, weekly, and midpoints. Okay. Uh, now, if you wanted to sh see the prior days, then you would change this to. Let's say you want to look at the past five days. You would change that to five number of days, and then it would pl plot those for you. Okay. It would plot the dailies and the mid. Okay. change that back to one day and let's say that as you can see if I contract my chart in other words decrease the bar spacing the letters get over the chart the bars one way to fix this depending on how, what you prefer to have the bar spacing at is to change simply what you would do is I want a little fast you double click on your chart this window opens you would go to general tab, under the general tab space to the right you can change the spacing to the right if I put it to let's say five or four you can see even with good separation between the bars the text is right on top of the bars so you can set it to 10 or 15 and it's, you don't have all this text all over your bars. If you don't want to see these labels, you're just mem since it, let's assume that you've memorized the style and the colors, and you re you can recognize what the pivot lines are, and you don't need text. Then just turn the text to off. Okay. So that's this one. This one hopefully will take care of your needs, those who use uh, 
pivots. If they use that technique, they can. The other one is this one here. This will pretty much plot, as you can see, it'll plot the monthly pivot, daily, weekly, the mid for the daily, the mid for the weekly, the mid, this darker green here is the mid for the monthly. It will also plot the weekly high low. It will plot the daily high, the prior day's high low, and the prior day's close. Okay. Again, with this one, this particular one, you can turn the labels off if you want. You would just come over here and type false. The labels are turned off. If you like to have it on, just leave it true. The, all these lines, you could change the colors white, light gray, yellow, green. You can change these to any color that you like. Uh, the style of the line or the thickness of the line can be changed as well. On the scaling, if, w once you download the code, um, make sure the scaling is same as underlying data on either of these two that we just went over. Let me just turn the text back on. And if you wanted to have it on five days, and it would just plot the prior five days as well. One one option is for if you don't want to have your charts cluttered, and this is one of the reasons I you don't want to have lines all over your chart. What you can do is use just the daily pivots and the midpoints on your trading chart, and then have another chart open with the second indicator showing you the weekly, the weekly mid, and the monthly, and the monthly mid and um, that way you have less lines on your chart. So I think both of these will take care of most people's needs. And um, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. If you guys have questions about this, just send me an email at zuna-hotmail.com.